All right, I'm Chris, instructing in the Lamborghini Superleggera, and I'm here with Douglas Rock, right? That's right. Yep. And uh, we're gonna do uh, five laps. Okay. So, have you ever driven a car like this with a paddle shift before? I have not. You have not. Okay. Have you driven a stick shift before? I have. Okay. So you understand the concept of shifting gears. Uh, this time, you're gonna get to shift gears without taking your hands off the wheel, obviously, and without taking your feet off the pedals. Uh, so, so let's say, for example, you're going full throttle up the front straightaway. When you click an upshift, uh, you could upshift gears in this car without taking your foot off the gas. You can right. stay full throttle. Now, the most important thing applies towards braking as well. As you apply the brakes and you downshift, you don't want to take your foot off the brake to downshift gears. You want to maintain brake pressure all the way through the end of the brake zone. And then you can release the brakes and turn the wheel. But uh, just remember, when you downshift, you don't want to release brake pressure. Okay. And that's probably hardwired in us still from gear shifting days. Right. You know, lifting your foot off the brake, you know, letting the clutch out, all that. So now you get to shift gears without worrying about any of that. Um, number one most common mistake people make, speaking of brakes, is not braking hard enough, especially in this car. Uh, this car carries a lot of speed down the front straightaway. So as you apply the brakes, um, first of all, the brakes have a lot of travel before you start feeling any brake pressure. Okay. But you want to brake really hard, um, feeling your weight really push up against that seatbelt strap. If you feel that effect, you're starting to brake hard enough. If you don't feel that, what happens is you end up braking too long down through the corner and you end up losing all your momentum. And as a result, you're going faster, you go slower. So to go faster, you want to brake harder. Okay. The harder you brake, the faster you're going to be able to go. Um, finally, the uh, cones out on the track, you notice those out on the discovery laps? Yep. Okay, so the green cones, the closer you get to those cones, as you go by them, the faster you're going to be able to go. That's going to keep you on the good race line around the track, or the good line. And uh, you want to stay as close to that cone, whether it's the entry cone, or the apex cone, or the exit cone. The closer you are, the better. Of course, don't hit the cones, and the blue paint on the outside of the track is considered out of bounds. We'll stay out that. It's also very slick, okay. the blue paint. Now, after all of that, uh, do you have any questions? Uh, no, so you can turn off paddling if, if at some point. Yeah, if you feel like paddle shifting sucks, okay. um, I'll put it in an automatic mode. What is nice about this car though is the whole track can be done in third gear, um, with the exception of the front straight will hit fourth, and then and if then you're braking shift. right back into third again, just leave it third okay. all the way around. Fine. So Easy it's enough. not much shifting necessary in this car. It's got a lot of power right off the bottom of the RPM, so you don't need to shift gears much. Okay. Mainly, we just have to get the third gear. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Um, yeah, so you ready? I think so. Okay, let's give it a shot. Right now, I believe the steering wheel is turned all the way to the left, so let's do one full turn to the right. Let's turn the wheel all the way, one full turn, there you go. And that's actually straight. So with your foot on the brake, go ahead and click into first gear. That should show gear position one yep. right there. And as you pull forward, just watch that strap off to your left side there. And um, we'll clear out my side. And right around here to the left. I'm just looking for the Corvette as we come around here, make sure he's not blasting out of here. All right, very good. And then right on out here to the red cones. Okay, we'll stop right there. A couple cars coming, we'll just hang tight. Actually, if you want to kick the wheel a little right, pull forward just a hair. Okay, stop right there. Good. Okay, we're clear. Hard left turn. Bring the blue cones and straight out to the green cone. One upshift here. Go ahead, click it again. One more upshift. That's third gear. We'll just leave it third. From that green cone, you turn it on down to the apex. And right past the apex, right on out to the green cone there. Squeeze on the power to full throttle. Upshift here. And keep going, full throttle. Brake here. One downshift with your left hand, ease off the brake, foot's back on the gas. Just crack it off idle a little bit. Down through this apex, you can start squeezing on the power to full throttle once again. Brake here. Keep braking, keep braking. Release the brakes now, foot's back on the gas. There you go. Far right side of the track this time. Brake here and release. Just a quick brake check. Turn around in there, add some power. Squeeze on the power, far left side of the track, just like he's doing. Brake here, straight line in the green cone. Don't turn too early, wait for the cone. Now start to turn. All the way down the apex. And squeeze on the power to full throttle. Far right side. Brake here, then release, turn the wheel, add power once again. Technically, you could go full throttle through here, then brake. Straight line to the green cone, release. Turn around in there. Squeeze on the power once again, full throttle. Just 
just hold it full throttle, upshift here, keep going full throttle, brake here, one downshift, no brakes, puts back on the gas pedal, squeeze it on to full throttle, let's get Brake here, real hard, a little harder, a little harder, no brakes, turn around in there, all the way down the inside, his line is a little off. Okay, we're gonna pass this guy. Turn around in here, add some power, just a little bit. A little bit more, a little bit more. There you go, full throttle, right through here. Brake here, real hard braking. Release the brakes. All the way down to that apex, start squeezing on the power. Squeeze it on, squeeze it on, full throttle. Brake here and release. Turn around in there, add some power once again. Brake, straight line to the green cone. Ease off the brake. Look all the way down the straightaway. Squeeze on the power. Full throttle. How do you like this car? Nice. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's a little better than my Jetta, I believe. Upshift here. Keep going, full throttle. Keep going. Brake here, hard as you can. Downshift once. Ease off the brake. Puts back on the gas. Squeeze on the power to full throttle. There you go, keep going, full throttle. Real hard, a little harder, a little harder. No brakes now, turn that wheel. Squeeze the power, right side of the track. Brake, and release. Turn around in there, add some power, just up and over the hill. Start squeezing it on. There you go. Brake here, straight line to the green cone. Ease off the brake. Turn around in there, add some power. Squeeze the power to full throttle. Brake here, release the brakes, turn her on in there, add power again. Brake again. Ease off the brakes, look through your apex all the way down the straightaway, add power. Squeeze it on, full throttle. Shift here. Brake here, real hard. A little harder. Downshift once. No brakes now. Just crack it off idle. And just squeeze it on down to full throttle. There you go, hold it in there, full throttle, keep going, keep going, brake here, hard, harder, 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 no brakes now, you got it, there you go, add some power, brake and release, turn around in there, add some power once again, squeeze it on, full throttle, brake here, real hard braking, ease off the brakes, turn it tight, no brakes though, turn it tight, add power, squeeze it on, Turn around in there, add power again, straight to that green cone, brake again, ease off the brake, squeeze on the power, full throttle. Brake here, hard, a little harder, downshift once, no brakes, very nice. 120 miles an hour that time, full throttle. off the brakes now, turn around in there, add power, just crack it off idle and start squeezing it on, there you go, brake once again, ease off the brakes, all the way down that apex, look all the way down the track, there you go, squeeze on the power, full throttle, brake here, real hard, ease off the brakes, look all the way past that apex, where do you want to go, all the way down that way, squeeze it on, full throttle, very nice, Brake here and release, turn around in there, add power once again, squeeze it on, brake hard once again. Ease off the brakes, look through that apex, squeeze it on, full throttle. Brake here, real hard, a little harder, downshift once, ease off the brakes. All the way down that apex, there you go, squeeze it on as you unwind the wheel, very nice, full throttle. A little harder, a little harder. No brakes now. You got it. Turn it in there, add power. Feel how that gas pedal gets yeah. traction back? Yeah. Brake, release, turn it on in there. Just a little bit of gas balances the car and gives you traction. Squeeze it on, full throttle. Brake here, real hard braking. Ease 
brakes off the brakes. This next lap's on me, okay? Alrighty. You waited for a while. Squeeze it on. So I'll give you an extra lap. Alright. We'll be our little secret. Brake here. Release the brakes. Turn around in there. Add power. And then brake again. Straight to that green cone. Ease off the brakes. Look through your apex. Look down that straightaway. Squeeze it on. Full throttle. Go get that Corvette. <laughs> One downshift, ease off the brakes, foot's back on the gas pedal. A little bit of gas, a little bit of gas, a little more, full throttle. You got it. Brake here, hard. Ease off the brakes, turn that wheel, add power just a little bit. There it is, feel that, squeeze it on. Brake, release the brakes, turn around in there, a little bit of power. Start squeezing it on now as you want to wind the wheel, full throttle. Good job, brake here, real hard off the brakes we're gonna pull in off the track right past the white cone there right on down pit lane Woo, good job sir that's awesome thank you how do you like that that's great you make it seem as easy make it see a little bit kind of push you a little that bit that drives the, yeah yeah no, that's you know. great it's fun to have somebody tell you to go <laughs> yeah exactly you know? put a little more confidence in accelerating into those cars right, right up the middle here Park down next to the red car. On the outside? Like further uh, away or inside? Yeah, let's go further side. Yeah, we'll go to the further side. Right. Oh no. That's okay. Go on, park on in there. I was mistaken where that car was put. Just go ahead and turn that way right there. Just park it straight out. Just keep on pulling up. Right there. Right there. Good. Awesome. You can just leave the wheel turned all the way to the left. And uh, both paddle shifts will put it in neutral. There we go. And you can take go. your foot off the brake. You should stay. It should stay. There we go. We don't set the parking brake because the brakes are so hot. And uh, so we oh. just turn the wheel all the way to the left. It kind of binds the car, it keeps it right. rolling away, and then the brakes pull off and everything. Once again, you did a good yeah, job. Appreciate that it. That was Thank a lot of fun. You. That was a blast. And uh, hopefully, you learned something today. You see what I've got? to push my Volkswagen now. There you go. The corner is a little easier. <laughs> it's actually the same concept. You felt how a little bit of gas gave the car traction. Right. Yeah. That really holds true to pretty much any car you drive. Um, What's, what's happening there is when you're braking, you know, you transfer all the way to the front. The car right. turns really good. Now, when you give it a little gas, you just distribute some weight back to the rear tires a little bit so that now the car is leaning on the left side, for example. Right. You want to get some weight back there on that rear tire a little bit. So you just give it a little bit of gas, and now you got the car balanced. That's why they say, you probably heard it in the, in the classroom, they say, okay, balance with the gas pedal. Right. Just, not too much gas to get the front end up, not too little gas with the front ends down. You're just distributing the weight evenly on the tire so you have yeah. maximum traction. And that's why the car felt like it hooked up better by giving it gas. Yeah, and that's no, what's happening there. Stabilizes so, when you're... A Jetta, a Prius, <laughs> a Superleggera, it doesn't matter. Right. Balance gives you traction. The principle's the same. Yeah. This this car, you just have to have a little more finesse because a little bit of throttle, it wants to go. You know? Right. So it takes, you know, it takes practice. Yeah. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot for coming Thank down. You.